Hemolytic anemia is a decreased number of low blood cells due to abnormal breakdown of red blood cells. General signs and symptoms include fatigue, pallor, shortness of breath, and tachycardia. Chills, jaundice, dark urine, and an enlarged spleen. Hemolytic anemia can be intrinsic or extrinsic. Intrinsic also known as hereditary. Intrinsic means that a defect in the RBC is causing the hemolytic anemia. Examples, membrane defects, abnormal hemoglobin, sickle cell anemia, and enzyme deficiency, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Extrinsic causes, acquired hemolytic anemia may be caused by immune-mediated causes, drugs, and other miscellaneous causes. Extrinsic refers to factors outside the RBC that are causing the hemolytic anemia. Examples, stenotic aortic valve damaging the RBCs and immune destruction of RBCs. Hemolytic anemia can be extravascular or intravascular. Extravascular refers to destruction of RBCs within splenic and or liver macrophages, characterized by increased serum unconjugated bilirubin, which produces jaundice if the bilirubin level is greater than 2, 5 mg slash DL. Intravascular hemolytic anemia refers to RBC hemolysis that occurs within the blood vessels. Causes include enzyme deficiency, for example, pyruvate kinase deficiency. Complement destruction, for example, I'm mediated hemolysis, IG mediated in some cases. Mechanical damage, for example, calcific aortic stenosis. Laboratory findings include increased plasma and or urine hemoglobin. Hemosiderinuria, proximal renal tubule cells convert iron and hemoglobin into hemosiderin. Decreased serum haptoglobin. Diagnosis confirmed constellation of symptoms and is largely based on the presence of anemia, an increased proportion of immature red cells, reticulocytes, and a decrease in the level of haptoglobin, a protein that binds free hemoglobin. Red blood cell fragments called schistocytes, red blood cells that look like spheres, spherocytes. Missing small pieces, bite cells. Treatment depends on the cause. Symptomatic treatment can be given by blood transfusion, if there is marked anemia. In severe immune-related hemolytic anemia, steroid therapy. Sometimes splenectomy can be helpful where extravascular hemolysis, or hereditary spherocytosis, 